Hello, um, we're going to be discussing seven major questions that is going to appear in the 2020 YEC exam. And I can guarantee you this is a 100% chance they are going to appear. So if you stay tuned with us, you are going to be knowing what we'll talk about now. We've studied several topics, about 10 to 11 topics. We've analyzed them for about four years. And we've been able to understand the trends, questions that keep repeating itself. And with this, we want to predict what is going to happen in the year 2020. So if you stay tuned with us to the end, you're going to be seeing the topics that are going to reflect in the year 2020. And I can guarantee you 100% chance these questions are coming. Okay, so um, if this is your first time of coming to this channel or you think we are doing something that is good, please hit the subscribe button and also click the bell beside it and select all notifications so that when we release these videos, you can get updates so that you can stay updated with any info we release. And also, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to share the video. Okay, so the question one, we're going to be talking about its graph. And these are the several graphs. Now, I want you to know that from the inception of WIAC questions, graph is an every year question. It's short. It's a crime not to, uh, to go into the exam hall without your French curve or your broom to draw your curve. Now, graph is one of the most consistent questions for the past 20. If we check an average of 20 years, and I can guarantee you in every year, a graph question actually came up. And there are four major graphs. One, you're going to be plotting about two of it. Now, there's a quadratic graph, there's a sine and cosine graph, there's a cumulative frequency graph, and there is a... Um, okay, the last one is supposed to be um, an inequality graph. Okay, so this is a quadratic graph. Now, you understand how the quadratic graph question is. Please, you need to go study the quadratic graph and how it used to be because I can guarantee you, you are answering this question. 100% chance. So, if you don't understand the um, a quadratic graph, any of the questions you don't understand, please drop a comment section so that uh, uh, drop it on the comment section so that we can do this video for you. Maybe tell us the topic you want us to treat for you. If it's um, a quadratic graph, is a cumulative frequency graph, just type it in the comment section and we will be working on that video and we'll release it for you. Now, the next one is a sine and a cosine graph. Like we said, there's a cumulative frequency graph. And um, there's an inequality graph. So these are the four major questions you are going to be expecting in graph. Now, like I said, graph comes out every year. Okay, so the second one is going to be statistics. Now, statistics is like a question that repeats every year. Statistics is a whole lot of, um, it has a whole lot of bank of questions. So we have the grouped data, we have the ungrouped data. Um, you're going to be discussing a whole lot of things like cumulative frequency, you'll be talking about median, you'll be talking about mode, you'll be talking about standard deviation and variance. Now, check your wire packs questions. I can bet you in the past 10 years, statistics showed up like nine times. So, this is a sure banker question for you. Like, you can afford not to study it. Now, several questions that come with statistics include pie chart. Histogram, bar chart, the mean, median, mode, standard deviation, variance. Okay, so you need to go through this topic. So if you also think you want us to do a video on statistics, maybe doing a summary of statistics before you go into the WIAC example, please do drop it on the comment section and we will kick out, we will start it right away. Okay, so um, the next one is set. Now set it's a question that repeats almost every year. Now, when I mean set, I'm actually referring to more of the Venn diagram set question. So you have to understand the Venn diagram and especially the three Venn diagram circles. So this is exactly how the question looks like when you're going to be told, okay, you have a class of 50 students, 24 like football, basket, and cricket. You can already see there are football, there's football, there's basket, and there's uh, cricket. So you, we're talking about a three circle Venn diagram. So this is a major question. And I can bet you, these questions are 12 mark questions. Now, imagine if you understand the last three questions we just talked about, you chewed up 36 marks. So you'll be smiling to the uh, bank knowing that you're getting an A1 in mathematics. Okay? So please do not play with set. Now, make sure you understand the intersections of set, the union, the complement, and the um, other parameters of set. But especially the Venn diagram. You are expecting it this year. Okay, so another question you can do without, it's called construction. 
Now I can bet anything, anything so far. I can tell you in the past past five years or past ten years, construction has been repeating itself. So for me, construction is a bonus question. It's one of the most easiest questions. Once you understand what they're telling you to construct, you know how to um, bisect your angles, you know how to construct your 30, your 60, your 90, your 45, and you know how to get your 135, your you know how to get angles that are not um, that you need to add up, then construction is a bonus question for you. So please work on your construction. Imagine if you can do construction in less than five, ten minutes, you've chewed up a 12 max question. Okay, so I, I, I looked up on probability and probability really thrilled my mind. Do you know that for the past 10 years, probability has been repeating itself. It has never, never stopped. So this is a sure question for the um, WAEC maths question um, 2020. I can bet with anything, um, with all my studies in the university, that probability is coming this year. So please take your time. Get to understand the probability question. We have questions like um, um, the balls question with replacement or without replacement. Get to understand the tossing of a coin and the rolling of a dice. These are likely questions you are going to be expecting. So this is another probability question that was actually um, where questions like replacement was asked. Get to understand the concept of probability. And like I said, if you think you need us to do a topic for you, please drop it on the comment section and we will get it started right away. Okay, so please, like I said, don't forget to subscribe. There are still some other topics we're going to be talking about, but please hit the like button and, and share this video. And don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell. Okay, so the next question that really thrilled me, this question blew my mind. It's angle of elevation and depression. And there is a particular angle of elevation and depression that has particularly been repeating itself almost every year. Please, I can tell you out of a 10 questions, um, out of 10 years, this question is going to repeat itself for 8 to 9 years. So this question has an 80 to 90% chance of coming out. So please, get to understand this particular style of angle of elevation where you kind of have like, have like a two triangles to deal with. Now, I'm going to prove this to you. Now, I worked on approximately three past four years and this is one of the years I saw. Now, this is the next one. You can see the diagram was um, it was um, turned upside down this time around, like a 90 degree shift. It was 90 degree shifted. Now, you can see the next one too. So, this question is a constant year question. If, there is any, if you understand how to solve this particular angle of elevation and depression, I can bet you the other ones are baby questions. You will be able to attempt them without any fear and with confidence in your mind. Okay, so another question that has a 60 to 70 percent chance of coming out is bearing. Yes, bearing, I checked, looked up on bearing. Bearing was not coming out every year, but probably if bearing comes out this year, it's not going to come out this year. If it doesn't come out the next year, it's going to show up the next year. So bearing is one question you can afford to play with. Then the next one is longitude and latitude. Longitude and latitude with bearing has um, like a 60 to 70% chance of actually showing up. So please work on these questions. Now imagine, like I said, these questions have are all bearing 12, 12 marks. So somehow, imagine you solve your graph, you get your 12 marks, you solve your construction, you get your 12 marks, you solve your statistics, you get your 12 marks, and you do your construction, you get your 12 marks. That's like 12 times 4, you're scoring already 48 marks. Out of like, probably maybe the theory is supposed to be like um, 100 marks or something. So with just 4 questions, you've cleared off half of the mark. So with your OBG and anything, it can already make you to pass. So please, you are scoring an A1 this year, and I want you to work on this. Now, like I told you, this is the graph, um, the, this analysis we did for the past four years. Now, notice, graph has been repeating for the past four years. So I can tell you, you're plotting a graph this year, and you're plotting a minimum of two graphs. One might likely be a quadratic graph, and the next one might be either, either a quadratic or a cosine graph. That's one. This other one is going to be either a cumulative frequency graph or a, an inequality graph. So statistics, from analysis, statistics repeated 216, 217, 218, but it did not repeat itself 219. Now I can tell you. What's going to happen in 2020? 
if you wait to the end of this video, you're going to see the topics that are repeating itself in 2020. Like I told you, construction has been repeating itself for the past 10 years. So you can see 2016, there was construction and also for all the other years. Now, Venn diagram, three circles has been repeating itself apart from 218. Now, there is almost a 100%, 99.999% chance it's going to come back again. Now, check out, bearing did not come out for the last two years. So I can bet you something, I have a 99.99 .99 chance that the bearing is showing up. Longitude and Latitude 2 has repeated twice in the past four years. So be expecting that question. I told you something about probability. It's the question that actually blew my mind. Probability has been repeating itself every year. Now, there's something interesting about angle of elevation and depression. It has repeated for the past three years. It didn't come out in 2019. So what does that tell you? There's a 100% chance angle of elevation is showing up. Now, there are some other topics I didn't write here, but you're going to see them. They are always coming up. They normally come up as sub-questions like AI, II, BI, II. So those are the kind of questions you should be expecting. And in this topics, we'll have um, like the AP and the GP. You're seeing this question. Indices and logarithm is going to show up. Commercial math, the discount, the interest, the compound interest, the angle theorems, the cycle theorems, um, the sector, the chart, the uh, segment, where you talk about perimeter of sector, area of sector, um, the, the, the area of segment, perimeter of segment, and the likes of them. Now, variation. We have direct variation. We have indirect variation. We have joint variation. We have partial variations. These are questions you should be expecting. Now, we have the um, solid shapes, which includes the cone, the cylinders, the first rooms, where you're being asked to calculate either the surface area, um, the perimeters, or the, uh, or, 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 the, or the volumes of these shapes. So, you need to have all these things at your fingertips. Okay, so um, we've talked about commercial mass. Now, that takes us into our 2020 prediction for WIAC question math. Now, graph, yes, graph, it's coming out. Statistics question, it didn't show up last year. I can tell you it's coming out. Construction question, yes, it's coming out. Then diagram, I have an 80 to 90% chance it's going to show up. Bearing and longitude has a 60% chance of actually showing up. Um, now, probability question, yet it's going to show up. Angle of elevation, AP and GP, indices and logarithm, commercial math, angle theorem, sector, chart, segment, variations. These are questions you're going to be writing. So it is wise you go through this topic. Now, like I said, if you are having any challenge with any of this topic, drop it on the comment section. Tell us the topic that you're having issues with. And like a flashing of light, we are going to create a video teaching you this particular topic. Now, like I said, if you have not hit the like button, if you think we just did something that will impress, that just impressed you, please hit the like button. Um, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. And also, don't forget to share these videos with your friends so that everybody can make a one and we all will be happy. So thank you and stay tuned.